สบายดี You're now watching Ellen TV's English News Bulletin. In our today's news highlights. Australian Minister for Foreign Affairs, Senator The Hon Bob Carr, begins his visit to Laos on 17th to 20th February. Senator The Hon Bob Carr, Australian Minister for Foreign Affairs, his wife and a delegation, arrived beginning an official working visit to the Lao People's Democratic Republic from the 17th to 20th February. Lao Foreign Minister Dr. Tong Lun Si Sulit and his visiting Australian counterpart, Senator The Hon Bob Carr, reached an agreement on various issues on Monday in Vientiane capital. The agreement states that the Government of Australia will provide more than 40.6 billion kip, or about 5 million Australian dollar, to assist Laos in expanding trade and improving economic competitiveness. <laughs> Dr. Tong Lun told a press conference held shortly after the talks that both sides discussed a broad range of issues and highly valued the friendly relations and cooperation between the two countries over an extended period. The Australian delegation said they were pleased to continue extending support and assistance to Laos in the areas of education, sustainable growth in trade and investment, rural development and clearance of unexploded ordnance, as well as infrastructure development in rural communities. The Australian Foreign Minister will also encourage more Australian business executives to explore investment opportunities in Laos. To expanding our trade and investment ties with Laos, Australian businesses, including Panos, to already make a significant contribution here, but we want to do much more. Australia is one of the largest bilateral aid donors to Laos. We delivered, for, we're delivering 48.7 million in 2012-2013. We've, we've provided development assistance for uh, more than 50 years, and we're committed to continuing work on this. I'm very Australian proud. Senator Bob Carr said he was very proud to learn that more than 1,000 Lao nationals have graduated as alumni from Australia and pledged that Australia will continue to extend support to Laos in this regard. I'm very proud that more than 1,000 Lao alumni have completed tertiary study in Australia under the Australia Awards Program. The Australian Foreign Minister also congratulated Laos on its accession to the World Trade Organization, or WTO, after Australia extended strong support to back Laos' application for membership. We congratulate Laos on its successful hosting of the Asia-Europe Meeting Summit last year and on accession to the World Trade Organization. And we were pleased to be able to support the accession process. According to him, Laos officially became a full member of the organization on February 2nd. Canberra has pledged support to help Laos expand trade and improve its economic competitiveness in international markets through streamlining export and import procedures. Australian Senator Bob Carr thanked the Lao government for its support to Australia as being part of Asia as well as the support extended to Australia as it sought and attained non-permanent membership of the UN Secretary Council. <laughs> For his part, Dr. Tong Lun said Laos was pleased to extend further support to Australia, both through bilateral and multilateral frameworks, in order to promote relations and cooperation between the two countries with the region and the world. <laughs>
He expressed his heartfelt thanks to the government and people of Australia for the continuous and growing support and assistance extended to Laos, which greatly contributes to socio-economic development and the improvement of living conditions in Laos. This support included the backing of Laos' accession to WTO and assistance when Laos hosted the 9th Asia-Europe Meeting Summit last November. Prior to the talks, the Australian Foreign Minister visited the Ophthalmology Centre in Vientian and announced the provision of a grant amounting to more than 8.1 billion kip equivalents, 1 million Australian dollar, to purchase equipment necessary for treatment. So I extend my deepest congratulations and my best wishes for your studies, Kopcha. On Tuesday, the Australian Foreign Minister and his delegation attend a ceremony to award 70 Australian government scholarships to students of the National University of Laos <laughs> before visiting Mahosud Hospital. On the same day, the delegation is scheduled to visit the World Heritage Site of Luang Prabang and take part in various activities there. That, that's how a burnt hand was a presentation to us last year. Australian Senator Bob Carr and his delegation arrived in Vientiane on February 17 for a four-day official visit to Laos in response to an invitation from Dr. Tong Lun, who is also Deputy Prime Minister of Laos. Senator Carr's visit comes after the two countries celebrated the 60th anniversary of their diplomatic ties last year from 1952 to 2012. Australia is one of the largest bilateral aid donors to Laos, providing more than 389 billion kip, 47.8 million Australian dollar, to Laos for the year 2012 to 2013, up from more than 32 billion kip, 4 million Australian dollar in 1993. Please join us again in our next news bulletin when we will have Further details on Australia's contribution to Lao Trade Development Facility and Japan provided 3.5 billion kip for water supply in Kamwon Province. And that reaches the end of our today's edition of news. I'm Silimata Duong Pumi and the news team. Thank you very much for watching. You can send us comments and suggestions in order to improve our news program at the address display right now or log on our news webpage on Facebook at Lao National Television English News Program. Until then, goodbye.